Hello, this video is for students using assistance who need support with answering open response questions. Parents and guardians are welcome to watch too. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do three things when answering an open response question. Upload an image, create a table, and use math symbols. To start, log into your Google Classroom account and access the assignment that your teacher has created for you. Click on the link for the assist assignment and you will be taken to the first problem. The majority of the questions your teacher assigns will likely be multiple choice questions like this one, or just have a short answer box like this one. You know you have come to an open response question when you see this larger box. Sometimes you will need to type in an answer. For example, in this question, it is asking me to explain why he is correct. So I'm going to read the question. Ethan said the two shapes below are both six-sided sided figures, but just different sizes. So I'm going to type my response into the box. They both have six sides, but they are different shapes and sizes. When I'm done, I'm going to press submit answer down at the bottom, and now I can move on to the next problem. Sometimes these questions will ask you to draw something. In that case, you will need to upload an image. For example, in this problem, it says, construct the figure with the given attributes. Name the shape you created, be as specific as possible, use extra blank paper as needed. So I need to construct a quadrilateral with at least one set of parallel sides. Uh, next, what we need to do is get out a piece of paper and actually draw that figure. Um, after we're done, we're gonna take a picture of the drawing and save it to our device. The way that you do this will depend on what you have available. If you're not sure how to do this, please ask your parents or guardians uh, or your teacher to help you. This is the picture that I took on my phone and I've gone ahead and emailed it to myself. So you can see that it's right here in my email. Um, I'm gonna save that to my computer any way that you know how. I'm gonna go ahead and save the image. I'm also gonna choose a name so I know that we're, uh, I know how to identify it when I'm uploading. So I'm gonna call this trapezoid picture. And I've created a, uh, a folder on my desktop called MathWorks, so I know where I'm putting all of these images. And I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Once you have completed these steps, I'm now ready to upload that picture so that my teacher is going to be able to see it. Go back to your screen with the open response box. I'm gonna press on the um, upload picture icon, and those directions are given to you here as well. Um, and when I press that button, I'm gonna press the upload uh, picture button over here on the right. We're gonna locate where we have um, saved that. So mine is already ready in math work. I'm gonna click on the picture and click open. Don't worry about filling in the other boxes that appear in this window. Just press save. Uh, add any additional text if you'd like. Um, at this point, you can also change the size, um, underline, bold, things like that. And when we're done, we're gonna press submit answer. And we're done. The second thing I'm going to show you is how to create a table. In this question, it is asking you to create a table of values based on the description given. This means that I should create a version of the table that I see in the box, uh, down in the open response box and then add in my response. To do so, click on the table icon over on the right side of your tools, and you wanna create um, a table that looks just like the one that we see in the question. So I'm going to choose two columns and six rows. I'm now gonna fill in the uh, necessary information that I have up here, basically just copy it. I'm also gonna resize my table so it looks a little bit closer to the size of the table in the problem. So up here, I'm gonna write time in years. We have the option uh, in this pop-up box to add or subtract columns or rows. So sometimes we just need to uh, move the screen to get rid of that. And then value of computer in dollars. 
All right, and I'm going to fill in the left-hand column here, 0, 1, 2, 3, and then T. And now, just like the last problem, we're going to do our calculations uh, on paper, and then we're going to fill them in here once we're done. And I'm just using my keyboard to fill in these values. We can add in the dollar symbol if we want to. Uh, and one other thing that I do want to note is um, for this last problem, I need to use exponents. So I'm going to put in 800 times, and again, to get the times, I just used my keyboard, um, 0.75, and I want to raise that to the T power. So I'm going to highlight the T, and I'm going to move over here on the right, and you can see an X squared button. So that's going to allow whatever I highlighted to go up to the exponent. All right. Uh, as always, when you have completed your answer, you're going to go ahead and press submit. And the last feature I'm going to show you uh, for open response questions is how to insert math symbols into your open response answer. In this question, I'm asked to use division to show an equivalent way of writing 30 times 1 half. In order to respond, I need the division symbol. I know that I have the slash division symbol on my keyboard, um, but I have some other options. If I scroll over to the right, I can see this omega symbol here, um, and I'm going to press on that, and that will allow me to look at different math symbols that I have. So you can scroll through the different symbols by clicking the different headers on the left. Um, I need to access uh, the division bar, so that's under quotations. So I'm going to press on the, uh, that, and that's going to put it right into my screen. Um, so I'm going to fill in. I want my answer to be 30 divided by 2, and that's it. And again, when I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and press show answer, uh, excuse me, <laughs> submit answer. Um, one final thing, unlike the other questions and assessments, you're not receiving instant feedback um, like you would uh, on an open response question. Um, your teacher's going to need to review your work, and then they'll have the option to submit feedback if you want. When you're all finished, you're going to see this screen, and notice there's several that say ungraded. When your teacher goes back in and leaves feedback for you, they'll notify you through Google Classroom. And what you're going to do is click right back into the assignment that you've already completed. And you'll see any feedback and scores that your teacher left right in that space. Uh, so your teacher gave you a 50% and they left you some comment in blue. Uh, we hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for tuning in and best of luck.